November 22nd, 2019, 12.42 p.m. Cleaning the house up. I want to show these. These are, uh, what are they, Cybertronics? I do believe the name is. Cyber Acoustic Cybertronics. Uh, Cyber Acoustic Headphones. Lisa Warner bought these, which used to be a friend of my mom's. Um, at her place, it was been 2008, the end of 2008, beginning of 2009. Um, I do believe it was in 2008, around December, because um, I was over there, and then I was over here. Anyways, uh, it's 2019, that's 11 years, almost exact, away. Anyways, I've held on to them, they still work. Um, the microphone still works. I had problems at her house where there was an electronic zap, like a loud pitch microwave, a high pitch sound that came through, I do believe, the left earphone. And it has sat and resonated in my mind. And there's other people that knew about it somehow, some way. But even if not, I told the story and then they rumorized with it. So day in, day out, these have been laying in the living room here. <sighs> five years um she lived in grove city these are in columbus ohio now i know that sounded stupid to add but um right here off of walnut and gift street having a lot of electronic interference problems and them smarting off and rubbing things in like we you know what we've already done to you some of these hold having these on my head at her place electronic feeling of like electroshock high pitch sounds going through the ear uh, ear almost so excruciating to the point it busts an eardrum and then the lower pitch high pitch sound where it's not busting an eardrum but completely interfering with the mind while on top having electro like shock going through the body it was kind of it was definitely weird more micro voices whatnot I don't know if these are holding any tangibilities to uh, what they're doing now. Like, haha, ha, you know, you still got these. We're going to play around with it. Basically repeating a reminder, you know, like if you got bit by a dog or something dramatic, it, it causes you to remember items, places, certain amount of duress. The headphones themselves, why didn't I throw them away prior? It wasn't so bad until the last seven months, per se. It was very severe. Last seven months, they ain't done nothing but outright tell me what I'm going to do. The state has taken custody, type of shit. All this running the mouth, watch it be corrupted acts again. And once again, Franklin County, much less Columbus, Ohio corruption, which has been explained over 20 years, even in other places that there's the contacts from Columbus, the roots of my problems causing it. And them trying to uh, wrongfully do me again. And that's what a bitch gets. You can't fight back. You ain't shit. You ain't nothing but a mouth. You ain't no godfather. You ain't the Ohio king. You're not Parkside Vadio. All their godfather related mafia. So literal real life associated shit. And on top, hey, we got complaint from these guys. They This legitimate even though they're mafia. So neighborhood punk nigga gangsters or italian mob whatever it isn't just italians there's all kinds i mean it's just mixed up homosexual relations completely throughout all of it i always call it homosexual organized crime anyways with that being said me being blamed and taking the grief of well you started it so they got a right to do this shit to you but this is what's happening today with those and that's the video that i want to do cyber acoustic headphones lisa warner's place Grove City, mom's friend, turned out mom and her broke friendship. There's a lot of things that was done at her trailer that was intimidating. I was being threatened from across the street while it was being ignored or being rubbed in my face. Like, what you going to do about it? You're staying with me. You, you got to take what you got to take. It was no better. I won't say it wasn't no better than staying on the street, but because of the warmth and stuff like that and a little bit of amenities, but as far as emotional health, not at all. It was nothing but like a prison cell. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press stop on this video and that's that. Here we are today, 11 years later, almost exact, motherfuckers in the trash can. While I'm also having antics played, like I said, repetitive of an item and other conditions of situations that's happened um 
like uh, pots is the way I put it. Is a fight that I seen that was on YouTube when YouTube first came out, um, 2008, I do believe. Um, matter of fact, that would have been two, May of 2008 before I went out to New York City because they they followed, and I say they, there's this group of people. Just, I can't put names to all of them. Carl Newman is one of the majorities, I would have to say, or at least a major connection to that. Gennaro Torres, Thomas Duckman, Ella Perdue. Anyways, with this video, is an illegal fight. You could actually get in trouble for it. It's against California state law code. Besides it sounding stupid that fighting is against the law anyhow, but the way that they held the fight would be held into like a federal treason type of situation. It'd be a federal crime rather than just a state or local crime or some dumb shit like that. Anyways, they've done nothing but play the antics from that video for the last seven years. Day in day out even threatening shit in new york city there's a uh, wasn't a bomb but a building that exploded in new york city due to a leaky gas pipe the name pots was written on it it was an intimidated threat up there while they're threatening me anyways people did understand that like mayors fbi shit like that something representable law enforcement i can't exactly say they said it you know, they're just representing law enforcement, and I trusted their stuff because it was trustworthy with it. But anyhow, knowingly that these guys are playing <laughs> is the sound. It's almost like a dolphin sound. Potts is a white guy. He had his head mashed in. He went to the hospital and ended up having some type of brain, a little bit of brain disorder, I guess, afterwards. Anyhow, there is a Mexican affiliate that was fighting him. There is a mosh of people fighting um, with that. The Mexican and Potts was... The first two fighters up and then all kinds of other shit went haywire. But anyways, the Mexican was the one that was making the dolphin sound. <laughs> and ended up winning the fight. Massively knee-butting or knee-kneeing Potts. This guy, his last name Potts, I do believe his last name is. Kneeing him in the head, causing him to completely black out. Um, knocked out completely. And then he was actually, he had a little bit of brain damage from it for life. They showed up in New York City, New York back in 2009, 10, maybe 11. I might even do 2011 because it seems kind of strange. It's uh, it's weird how I explain things and I'll get it back together. But uh, quite a few trips out to New York City and them showing up playing Mafioso. Lisa Warner is Italian. They also was utilizing Dave Johnson as a relative, is a homosexual spouse to an uncle of mine. Um, utilizing that he has the rights, like family rights, and intimidating with that. He's part of the family, too, so he's going to take control of family rights over top of you, enforce family laws, intervene, or in interfere. And it was already discussed multitudes of times in the past prior to that, even with l law enforcement in other states, that they don't have a fucking right whatsoever to do any of it. Trying to utilize loopholes and assaulting me with it, while like Janara Torres and Thomas Stuckman's trying to step up with brute force at their undercover law enforcement, and these guys have rights, and if I don't abide bay by it or abide by it, one, I'll get electronically zapped by a neuromodulator, an illegal implant of deep brain stimulator, and a vagus nerve stimulator type situation, something that they have a remote control to it, on top of causing me social mishaps and systematical uh, mishaps on top, which was found out like in Colorado Springs, unlawful reports, perjury, and unlawful systematical work, once again, with the understanding there was also Ohio corruption involved with the shit. There's people running community and running organized shit through the community, bothering me and utilizing loopholes of, hey, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> little bitch guy, little bitch bastard, homo, cross-eyed, retarded, all the rest of shit. Anyhow, big lengthy ass damn video over some headphones, huh? But not really. Those headphones are very important to a situation of what happened in 2008 era where one of the worstest sonic loud beeps went through the left earphone and kept zapping after that it was like electronic electricity going through my body while uh, having high-pitched sounds like somebody's trying to play brainwashing techniques some type of neuromodulation techniques utilizing electronic devices anyways with that being said and everybody ignoring it because everybody is involved. Why didn't anybody recognize it? Well, it's a possibility like in Colorado Springs. I shouldn't have the weight on my fucking shoulders to where they don't understand. There is group action. It's not just an individual. It ain't a small group. And on top, who wants to tell on those who have power so they get messed with later? They wouldn't tell. But either way, the people sitting there, they didn't say shit because it is either involved 
or didn't want to say shit, which I'm not even giving it that, but it could have been that they don't want to be involved because they'd be intimidated later on in life. But most of it was because they was involved, making me look psychotic and utilizing a relationship as such. Anyways, ending this video <laughs> over a set of headphones. That's one of the worstest, and it kept, there was even stuff that went on without the headphones on. They was utilizing the headphones like a marker of some sort every time I put them on, though. It was the worstest, like, outright, blunt to the face. You know it's happening. Not just a little secrecy or zap here and there, and it could be just, you know, some neurology sprains in your body, literally just making it out. And hearing people in other trailers talking, yeah, that's what you get, bitch, and stupid shit like that. And I was completely emotionally harassed, robbed, soulfully robbed at her place and uh, by her family. Stuff like that and the people that was living down the street. And her not taking recognition, even if it is partially either your family or, you know, you're utilizing a grade at me that I'm unstable. But you can see as plain as the nose on the tip of your face that this is going on. Well, that's manhood. You got to take it like a man. Well... It, if you was really trying to help me out, you wouldn't have had emotionally assaulted me and stuff like that. But that's not just towards her. That's towards the people that's participating. Because she hasn't completely been around for many years. And these people are still around. Which live right across the street from me. Right next door. A whole damn neighborhood full of shit. And utilizing neighborhood oriented rumorization and connections type of situation to keep their shit flowing. Including, though, once again, interstate stalking. And if you find out interstate stalking, even though I've talked to feds, and there's government that, like I said, there's been government that have been cut, caught, corrupted earlier in life in multitudes of different states. But anyhow, trying to add ah, your schizo, you don't know what you're talking about. First paragraph of interstate stalking is it is a federal crime. Not that it consists of every single case and every charge, if it is even considerable. Is the way they put it. Oh, oh, oh baby fired. Anyways, just taking the understanding the standing grounds. It's partially understood. Federal, state, local, and whatever else can, can be combined. If it even sticks. But it's still interstate stalking. These motherfuckers are in groups. Harassing, stalking, and going from state to state. City to city. County to county. Block for block. Community to community. Doing whatever they want. And intentionally making it out through law enforcement and or it's for the community benefit. Your community is where your residency is. Where you're taking residency. You don't, you're not walking around everybody's community and saying, hey, I'm king shit. So I'm just going to throw down for the community everywhere to a certain extent while utilizing supposed lawfulization acts. Not just the criminal acts, not the gang banging, not the thuggish, but trying to utilize loopholes in the system that they got rights to do this. Blowing shitloads of money. Wow. I was poor. I needed help out. And you'd rather blow your money assaulting me and then making it out that I'm worthless when you done spent thousands of dollars that could have helped me out? <laughs> Besides an $8 pair of fucking cyber acoustic headphones back in the day. Actually, it was more expensive than that. But dumb shit like that. Oh, well, we did help you out. I bought you this. I got you this. Little tip for tat. <laughs> What's that? 20 bucks out of a grand? Could have helped me out more than you know, and you just want to run, they just want to run their mouths. But yeah, dumbass situations like that. How much money, how much gas, how much manpower for 20 years plus worth of interstate stalking? Crazy shit. Much less utilizing electronic interference, jamming equipment, data theft, everything else. And yo, bitch, what you doing? I would like to get the FBI agent that I talked on the phone here a couple of months back in Columbus, Ohio here at the Columbus, Ohio office involved into, I didn't like his attitude, but I don't have to. Nobody has to like the attitude. He didn't do any wrong, anything wrong with the bad attitude or even standing grounds rightfully. Yeah, right my ass. But anyways, get him back involved with in being a snobby little prick and, uh, there's been other talks outside the state uh, where I've had help. They made understandings rather than giving me some fucking dicked off situation while also making me feel that there is an association internally going on. And that was investigated elsewhere too. Internal affairs type of shit. We're not talking about just local police corruption. We're talking about county officials, uh, agencies, and even government agencies. Anyways, end in this video. Uploading it. Peace.